if we look at what we can do about this whole thing and really transform the process, it's um, looking at the digital twin and what could you do if you could lever leverage the digital twin to analyze parts for cost and manufacturability very early on um, upon design and check into your PLM system. Look at the parts and identify the issues on those parts from a design to cost and a design for manufacturability standpoint so that you have insight into where you stand from a target cost and that um, those manufacturability issues that are driving cost or are going to result in an ECO can be identified early on. Being able to highlight those features in the cost drivers and provide some guidance for how to fix them so that the designer can go in work on just the parts that need uh, to be addressed and, and make those changes in CAD and make the updates and then get the right information to the right people at the right time. So consumers in manufacturing, in sourcing, cost engineering, and even the supply base, having the right information to really help accelerate the process, eliminate the bottlenecks related to communication and provide the right information um, to, to take the right decisions to optimize the vehicle. So our solution, we've seen this uh, different presentations throughout the course of the, the couple of days and really lots of traction and really being able to, to um, drive adoption in engineering to provide that cost and visibility is, is really enabled by our Cost Insight Generate solution that allows the design engineer to check models into PLM, have the cost and manufacturability analysis happen in the background, information passed back to the main repository in PLM. So your cost information, manufacturing, um, manufacturability scores, and then get that information to the design engineer so that they can go address the parts in question, work interactively with the CAD system and focus on what's important. Um, and with all of that said, with the challenges of electrification, light weighting, the need to address the uh, compressing schedule, it's really all about embracing the digital uh, digital thread in digital manufacturing to adapt to these changes. So making sure that you can meet those aggressive schedules with a digitally transformed development process, achieving target costs, avoiding manufacturability issues early, minimizing the risks associated with those unknowns, and finally, you know, enabling the collaboration across the enter enterprise, leveraging the um, digital twin. So that's what we see as the, um, the ultimate way to really change the way that vehicles are developed today to really take advantage of the digitization to bring more insight early on in the process.